last question, last one we've got time for today. So um, how do you make sure people respect your non-negotiable time for learning? A good one to end on. Oh, it's a really tricky one. It, it depends on who you are and where you're at. And it's almost being sensible because everyone generally uh, has a job that pays their bills. The one thing you never want to do is jeopardize anything which pays for your mortgage, pays for your kids, whatever. So actually, if, and in, in my case, all the way through my career, I did all my personal development out of hours, but it was just something that I wanted to do. That was my passion. That was my kind of thing. Going back to the Tony Robbins uh, book or thing. So he's got a really good book called Awaken the Giant Within, but it's all about setting standards and what you will accept and what you won't accept. So for instance, I would not, um, you know, accept someone treating me badly or talking badly to me or disrespecting me so i would just cut them out of my life and that's like the standard that i set for different things almost the time that i would take for me is sacred to either work on my personal development or the business or whichever is sacred that i've set slots every week that are non-negotiable so i do my classroom sessions i do my live streams i do the podcast and nothing it doesn't matter when it comes up to that point that is me and i will happily work until seven to catch up but those particular zones, or if there's a particular thing that you want to do, you know, just own it. You'd be surprised actually how, you know, if you're good at your job and your employer respects you, they should be happy with the output that you deliver. It doesn't necessarily have to be at a certain time. And if they don't respect what you're doing and don't really give you the creative freedom to both deliver a good job and work on yourself, they're probably not the right employer for you.